Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Thursday, May 12th, 2016, around 428 in the afternoon in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's a sunny day out today in 81 degrees in Berwick, Massachusetts. Warm, very warm. But in Boston, it only reached the low 70s. Boston's still waiting for their first 80 degree day at Logan Airport. That's the official um, observer observatory of the National Weather Service. Some news to report. Orlando Magic head coach Scott Skiles has resigned. And he only coached them for one year, so the Orlando Magic is looking for a new head coach. And also, Escape TV is going to have original programming. Escape TV, it's a digital over-the-air network. It focuses on women's movies. I bet a lot of these digital over-the-air networks will eventually have their own programming. It's only a matter of time. And the WWE released Christian from from the con from his contract there. They featured endeavored him. Christian was one of the best tag team wrestlers of all time. He teamed with his fictionist brother, Edge, and they were WWE tag team champions for many years. Also, Christian was a like a light heavyweight champion and a intercontinental champion. So he's available for Bookings and probably a shoot interview. And that's about it on news. My second video blog subject of the day is about hitchhiking. Hitchhiking was popular in the Great Depression. Hitch hitchhiking is when a person needs to get somewhere, they don't have a car. Or the car's broken down, and they might need to get home, or went wherever. And they would stick their hand up like this to get a ride. And hitchhiking is a little bit dangerous, because you don't know who you're taking into the car. And this was very popular in like the 30s, 40s, and 50s. But many states kind of had some ordinance ordinance of like hitchhiking they kind of had like it was outlawed in some states but that still states did not really enforce it that much they only sent some salutations only only a few of them that were illegal actually did something about it and hitchhiking is not for free many many of them pay pay um, who's ever taking them some money and it's most likely total strangers doing it but a lot of people have to be careful if you take hitchhikers because you don't know what they are some of them could be murderers some of them could be like thieves some of them could be sex offenders some of them just are just nasty or beat you up or maybe take the car and hitchhiking has gone down in recent years because of Cell phones. Cell phones are uh, like po very popular. If somebody's stranded, they just call call a tow truck or a or a cab or Uber to get them home. But there's some instances where people have to hitchhike because they're stranded. They they got left alone or they got into an argument. They ha they're stranded, so they have to. They have to find a way to get home or wherever. And hitchhiking is illegal in if you go on interstate highways because pedestrians are not allowed on um, interstate highways walking because it's, there's no sidewalk at all, and and they don't allow hitchhiking on on like interstate highways but but this once in a while you'll see some hitchhikers went trying to catch a ride on on like the on ramps 
for highways that's still a little bit popular on that. I haven't seen a hitchhike in my hometown of Billick in about like 10, 20 years or so. Hitchhiking, in my humble opinion, is a very dangerous thing to do, but Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do if you, if you like, don't have a light or or you don't lost your cell phone. I think one time about ten years ago, some some lady getting off the train station in Berwick, Massachusetts, actually got was hitchhiking, and somehow she found um, somebody to take her home. That was a nice thing for them to do, but she was doing this, so, you know, most of the time people pick up hitchhikers. Sometimes they don't. There's a risk about it, involved in it. So whatever you do, if you if you pick up a hitchhiker, be careful of them. And that's about it on that. I will be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is former NHL player Wayne Cashman. This week's personality profiles will be two of ECW's best women of all time. The, the, like the, the, the queen of extreme Francine and Beulah McGillicuddy. Yep, you'll be so happy to hear about that. Getting more popular hits on these video blogs, so thanks for the support. I love it. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Brennan guy. Molly Roseblatt of WCCO Rocks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hutt's so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Swensey's awesome. And in the words of Deep Tower last week, no bus. Bye now. See you later.